Our topic for the day is I need to build a website. What are my options for web developers? And so there are three main ways that people build websites. The first way is a lot of people will do it themselves. I'm going to be very upfront right now. I do not think you should do this option because there are a lot of intricacies that go with building a website. It's not just the aesthetics, it's the behind the scenes that I think are, it's really important that you get some guidance and some help. But if you're determined just to get a website up, this is like, you've put this on your to-do list, you've been putting it off and you're like, I need to just get a website up. Amanda, stop telling me what to do. Then by all means, use Squarespace or Wix or WordPress to get your website up and going. That seems to be a really popular way people do it initially. And I think as you people grow, then we'll talk about the next two options. I will tell you, this is the mistake that I made me, Amanda Patterson, Amanda Landry, however you want to, <laughs> however you see me on Facebook. I made this mistake myself. I built my own website and it didn't do anything. It was there. It didn't look bad. It was, you know, it served its purpose. Like for my business cards at the time, like people had my business card and they're like, yeah, we can, you know, look at their, her website, but I wasn't ranking on Google. And so, you know, me, I'm always talking about ranking on Google. So if you really want to rank on Google, I'm going to give you two other options. The second option is to hire a web developer that will build your website and hand that website over to you. There are a couple of really great web developers for primarily for therapists and they will build your website. It usually the, the general number that I've seen to build a pretty decent website with a homepage, with service pages, with an about page, with a blog, and really make it aesthetically pleasing is about $2,500. That again, really ranges from the person, from what they're offering, what kind of support they're going to give you. You will give them the copy, you will give them the color schemes, you'll give them your branding, you'll really guide them in that process and you'll work collaboratively to create a website that is really uh, specific to you. Um, a lot of people that do this kind of um, development will make it like more of a lifestyle type of website, meaning that it's really personal to you. There's a lot of really pretty branding. You can make it really specific. And a lot of these websites are very popular. And if you're looking for a developer, I want you to ask them about search engine optimization, right? And how your website is going to be optimized. And if they will hand you over the website, you'll have the login and you'll be able to make updates as you need or what that process will look like so that your website can stay fresh. The, so I'm going to talk to you about the third option. I decided not to do that option because we were going to be doing so many updates to our website on a regular basis, especially because I have a group practice. It really didn't make sense for me to do that because I wanted so many updates. I really wanted something that was like a working document versus something that one time came out. And while I could make some tweaks to it, it really wasn't going to be robust. Um, but I do think this is a really good option for people, especially if you're in a solo practice, maybe um, you really want, you're, you're really pretty set on what you're doing for your services. You have really pretty pictures, you have branded pictures, you have a brand in mind for yourself. You have a color scheme in mind and you're just ready to have that website up. Some people will do maintenance for your website on a regular basis. So you can also ask about monthly packages that they have, like if you needed updates or you needed something, they can certainly help with that. Your third option is to go with a company like Brighter Vision or Therapy Sites. Those seem to be the most two popular ones. And what they do is they'll develop your website for you and then they will do updates for you sort of like on a regular basis. Now, a lot of people complain that you don't actually own the, your website and that you don't own the material and that if you stopped using you know, your website with them, um, then you would lose all of that material. That, that's not necessarily true. Um, the, you wrote the copy for these brighter vision didn't necessarily write the copy for your website. You have to give them a lot of information. I just know brighter vision because that's who we use and it is who I recommend. Um, but it's not just, um, like I could just take the website and copy and paste everything and, and move it over just in the same exact way that maybe I would need to do that. If I went from one website developer to another website developer, there's some things. So, 
The thing that I really like about some of the brighter vision, for instance, is that we are constantly having upgrades to our website. So just to give you an idea, I just added three people to my office and now I've got to get them up on the website. We need to get them starting to blog. We need really the website updated and I just send it over to them and they update it for me. And it makes it really, really easy for me because I don't like to have to do all of those little tasks. Not that I do that, I have my admin that does that, but she has other things that I want her to do that are bigger picture things. And so it's really nice that I'm able to have that kind of relationship with them and so that things can be updated on a regular basis. And so you can really decide what works for your individual practice. I don't think you have to do one or the other. I think there's a lot of reasons why people decide to do a variety of them, but I'm going to um, give you some tips on why a website is so important and why you may want to really hire somebody to do your website after I thank our sponsor, Therapy Notes. So if you're looking for an electronic health record that is really full service, where you can run your individual practice, you can run your group practice, you can run your... Uh, you can run your hybrid practice, you can run your in-person practice, or your people are thinking about these things right now. Like, how can I run a variety of different um, practices right now? Not just like, I used to be just be in-person. Therapy Notes really makes it easy. They have a lot of different functions. You can do their portal to send the paperwork. They have the credit card integrated right through there, and they have wonderful customer service. So I want you to check out Therapy Notes. So having a website is a must in this day and age. I don't care if somebody else told you you don't need a website. You need a website. You need a website and you need an optimized website. I want you to rank number one on Google, right? I want people to find you, unless you're in my area, of course. No, I'm just kidding. So I want you to... to be found on, on, I was saying Facebook, on Google. I want people to really enjoy your website. I want you, people to get a lot out of it. And one way that you can do that is by hiring somebody. But if you're super tech savvy and you know what you're doing, then by all means, do your own website. If you would like to share your website, please comment below. Would love to see other people's websites. I'll see you soon, everybody. Bye.